In this video, we are going to get our Sonos Beam talking so we can use it in our smart home. Coming up next. Hi, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. Also in the video description, be sure to check out the three steps to completing the ultimate smart home. And I also have them on my shirt. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna get our Sonos speaker able to talk when certain things happen in our smart home. So you could have it say certain things when you turn on the TV or um, when doors open or anything, um, you can just have it talk and say a predefined phrase that you generate. So the first thing we need to do is head over to the computer and set up basically some phrases that we can put into our Sharp Tools rule engine, and then it can run that rule and talk. And obviously you need smart things in order to get this done. Also, you have to have your Sonos speaker already set up in the Sonos app and connected to your smart things. You can connect it using the new app or the classic app. I have both um, showing here now, just very easy. Basically just click on a couple things and you're good to go. But it has to be connected to your network first. So let's head over to the computer Basically, what we're going to have to do is three different steps here. We're going to have to create an AWS login so we can create our audio for our voices. Um, this is going to give you a ton of different options and it's going to be the highest quality um, that you can get. And we're going to put that file into our Dropbox account. And then finally, what we're going to do is create a rule in Sharp Tools and test it out on our Sonos speaker. So let's go ahead and sign up for an account real quick. So I'm gonna actually create a brand new account and I'll just delete it after this video and um, just follow along. So all you gotta do is fill in your email and password and I'll go ahead and leave this um, link in the video description and everything that you need to get this done is in the video description as well. So the first thing you need to do is go into this AWS portal and create an account. Now once you chose your username, password, and all that, it's going to come up with this. And just choose personal. Go ahead and fill that out. Now you are going to have to actually put in a credit or a debit card number. Um, do not worry, you're not going to be using the premium features of this. You're just going to be using um, basically a testing feature. Um, so go ahead and put in your stuff here. Now after you enter your credit card information, they're going to want to verify um, your credit card. So just put in your cell phone number, type in the CAPTCHA here, and they're going to send you a code. And now we are verified. So what you're all going to do is choose the basic plan here, which is free. And now you can go ahead and sign in. And once you're signed in, I'm going to look at something like this. And what we want to type in is Polly, P-O-L-L-Y. All right, so what we have here is a text box and you can type whatever you want in here. And then down here we have different voices. So you can choose, say, this voice and say, listen to speech. Hi, my name is Sally. I will read any text you type. And there's a bunch of different ones Hi. to choose from. My name is Joanna. I will read any text you type here. Hi, my name is Ivy. I will read any text you type here. And you can also choose on the left here where it says engine and choose standard or neutral. So if we go back to Joanna here and we choose neutral. Hi, my name is Joanna. I will read any text you type here. 
and then we can change it back to standard and you can hear a little bit of a difference. Hi, my name is Joanna. I will read any text you type here. So you can play around with all of these voices here and what we can do is also choose languages and regions. So say if you wanted to do another language or maybe you wanted to choose like an Australian accent or a British accent or Indian at US here, you can choose any of these. Uh, they may have less options. Um, but you can definitely test those out. Let's just try one of these real quick. Hi, my name is Amy. I will read any text you type here. So you can definitely test any of these and choose the voice that you like the best. Now, what we need to do here is we need to choose a voice. Actually, let's choose, choose Matthew here. Hi, I'm Matthew. I will read any text you type here. So if we choose Matthew, and then what I can do is I can type text here, and I can just say, all right, so we have our saying here, hello, my name is Justin. My goal is to make smart home technology simple for everyone on planet Earth. So we can go ahead and listen to that. Hello, my name is Justin. My goal is to make smart home technology simple for everyone on planet Earth. And now what we need to do is download the MP3. So we're just going to click on this download and we have it downloaded. So now you can see we have it in our download folder and it's right here. So now we can use that file. The next thing you need to do is you need to go over to Dropbox. Basically just go to dropbox.com, create an, a login and you will be good to go. Um, and the reason you need a Dropbox account is because you need to put the file on the internet. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create a new folder here. And I'm just gonna call this audio files. And just click create. So now if we go back to my files, we should have audio files here. And it's very important that you never move this file in Dropbox. If I took this file and put it into my apps folder, then all of the links that I created um, would no longer work. Same thing is if I rename this folder, all of the links that you have set up will not work. So it's very important that you create this once and just leave it the way it is. So once you have your file, you just need to open that file and we're going to go to our downloads. We can just take this file and drag it over here. See it's uploading and it's uploaded. So if we go to our file, click on it here and we can play it right here. Hello, my name is Justin. My goal is to make smart home technology simple for everyone on planet Earth. All right, so that is our audio file. And what we need to do is we need to make this um, link public. So if we go over here and go to share, and we want to create a link at the very bottom here, so we're gonna click create link. And then you need to copy the link. Once you have your link copied, um, which is this whole thing here, what you want to do is go to a browser window, new tab, just paste in that link. Hit enter here. Basically going to take us to this file. Um, the bad thing is it's not going to auto play it. And we need this to auto play when you go to the link. What we need to do is we need to go up to the path and we need to delete the DL equals zero and type in raw equals one and then hit enter. Hello, my name is Justin. My goal is to make smart home technology simple for everyone on planet Earth. Now when you do that, it's gonna create this crazy long path and it's gonna auto play this audio file. So what you need to do is 
go up here and copy this entire path. You can right click copy and just make sure you get the entire thing. All right, now we have our audio file. We have a link that will auto play the audio file. When it goes to that link, it's gonna auto play. And now what we need to do is go to our Sharp Tools app and create a rule. If you haven't signed up for Sharp Tools yet, um, it's 100% free. Um, they do have premium versions as well, but you can test, you know, test it out and make sure it's going to do what you need it to do. But the address is sharptools.io and takes about 30 seconds to sign up. So what we're going to do on our rules engine in our manage rules section, go all the way to the bottom and click create rule. And we're just going to call this Sonos test. And we don't need a description. And we need to add a trigger. So normally what your trigger would be is something that happens in your smart home. So, you know, if someone's coming home from work and they cross over the geofence area, you could have it announced that someone's coming home um, or whatever you want it to say. So you can create the audio file however you want and in this case we're just going to use a virtual switch and that will trigger our automation just so we can test it so we're going to go over to triggers we're going to do an event trigger and we're going to use a device and we're going to choose a virtual device that i've already previously created which is sonos test and when that switch turns to on, it will run our Sonos test. And now we can go down to our flow section and hit the plus sign. And we're going to choose an action. And we're going to choose a device. Let's choose our Sonos beam. Here it is. And then for the command, we want to have it play a track. We're going to choose play track and what we're going to do is let's take out this number so all you got to do is toggle on the advanced and hit the negative sign here now we all we're left with is a string and what we need to do is go ahead and paste in that crazy path that we had so it's going to put the crazy path in here so we have it saved and we have this crazy long path here which is just the path that was generated when we added the raw equals one at the end of our Dropbox file. So that is all we should have to do. So when we go over to our Sonos device now, we should be able to toggle on this virtual switch, Sonos test switch, and once it changes to on, it should play this audio track that we generated using the Amazon Poly. Let's go ahead and save this rule. Sonos test is here. Everything looks good. Let's go over to our Sonos again and see if we can get this to work. All right, so we are back over with our Sonos speaker and now we can toggle the virtual switch and see if we can get it to talk our phrase that we recorded. So I'm gonna go ahead and open SmartThings and we're going to go down to find our Sonos. So the Sonos Beam is the actual device, and the Sonos Test is the virtual switch that we created to toggle the voice in the Sharp Tools rule. That's a lot of stuff, but it's really not that complicated. So all we have to do is toggle on our virtual device. So that is on. Hello. My name is Justin. My goal is to make smart home technology simple for everyone on planet Earth. And there you go. It said our phrase. Um, there was a bit of a delay there, but um, it does have to go through a few steps to get over here. And basically it has to download the file before it can play the file. So basically that's kind of what's happening there. Um, but this is an excellent way to get your Sonos talking because the newest integration with SmartThings does not have the ability 
to read text and change it to audio. So this is the best way to really get that done. It's really not that hard. There's a lot of steps um, you know, on the computer there, but once you complete those steps once, you can create audio files super fast, upload them, make sure you know which one's which, and really get that working in your smart home. And one of the great benefits is you can have it say anything that you want. So bad words, doesn't matter. Where Alexa, if you try and put in a bad word or something like that, she is going to not say that word or um, skip over it or something like that. But in this, in this case, you can do whatever you want. You can have it say whatever you want. And the great thing is you can test the audio on the computer to make sure it sounds exactly how you want it to sound. You can add commas and exclamation points and stuff like that to make it really sound great. And once you get it set up, that's all, all you have to do. As long as the trigger happens in your rule, then it's going to play on your Sonos device. So Sonos is really known for their quality of sound. As you can hear, that voice was crystal clear and had a plenty of bass and range. Um, and now you can really integrate your Sonos into your smart home and get it talking and really enjoy that aspect. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.